Today we're going to be making Skittles vodka. But we've decided to throw a little twist into it. Uh, since we play a lot of role playing games, we've decided to make Skittle vodka potions. Not centered around any certain game, we're going to come up with our own name for the potions. So, these are the things you're going to need so you can make the same kind of potions at home. You will need some vodka. The amount will depend on the size of your bottles that you're using. We have two bags of Skittles. It's the original Skittles and there's five flavors. So we bought five jars at our local craft store, which will be our potion bottles, a funnel, some cheesecloth, leather looking string, and some wooden little circles that we're going to write the names of our potions on. So you will need a Sharpie and two inch eye pins to fasten these to your string. And then we have some wire cutters. And you will also need something to soak your Skittles in. And we have just one liter bottles, but anything as long as it has a lid will work. So the first thing you need to do is separate all your Skittles by color, which we have already done. And you're gonna take your bottle with the top, or you can use a mason jar, anything you have, but it needs to have a top. And you're just gonna put all of your Skittles into each one. So we've separated all of our Skittles into our bottles. Now we're going to add the vodka to the bottles. You can take your container that you're gonna put it in to measure how much vodka you're using, or as we're gonna do, we're just gonna to try to evenly separate it and use all of our vodka, because we have more than what will fit into our five potion jars. As you can tell, as we were pouring, the color is already starting to separate from the Skittles. And it looks kind of gross. So we poured our vodka in our bottles. We've noticed that the Skittles have already started separating. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put the top on each bottle. You need to let it sit overnight. You can give it a shake throughout the night if you want. I'm going to give them a shake right now. I've actually read of two ways to do this. You can either A, let them sit overnight, or B, over the course of a couple hours, just continuously shake them. You know, every every half hour or so, come in and shake them. The vodka is in the bottles. It's separating and looks really gross right at the moment, but we're just gonna leave them sit overnight and we'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, here we are a day later. We've let our Skittles vodka sit overnight. We've already strained all of them once with your cheesecloth. You can use coffee filters if you have them too, but they go very slow. And if you use cheesecloth, you need to have it very thick, because I tried to use just a couple layers and it didn't work. So now that they've all strained, the reason you strain them is to get all this sugary, weird looking mess out of it. It's kind of gross. And we have strained this one for a second time through the coffee filter. And I'm going to strain this one for the second time because you still have a little film left on top. I don't know if you can see that, but it's lighter on top. It still has a sugary film on it. So we're just going to strain it. Okay, now that you have strained all of your gooey, sugary substance off the top of this, we're going to take our funnels and we're going to pour them into our jars. Make sure you rinse out your funnels in between pouring the different flavors because you don't want to mix the flavors. That's the reason we separated them in the first place. So Piddle says that she smells pure Skittles, but I'm really smelling pure alcohol. So I don't suggest driving anywhere after making these, whether you're drinking them or not, because I think I totally smell like booze right now. <laughs> well, when we go out 
outside of our house and come back in, it actually smells like pure vodka. Yeah, it smells like we're moonshining in the house. A distillery? A distillery. So now that you have all your potions in your potion jars, you're going to pop the corks on and we're going to stick them in the freezer, hoping they get a little frosty looking because I think it'll give it a cool effect. And then we are going to move on to making our little name tags for our potions. So as we're waiting for our potions to chill, we're going to go ahead and make out our potion tags. Okay, so again, we've decided to go with just a generic RPG theme, nothing specific. Uh, we've, we've actually asked our friends what they thought some good potion names for this project would be. And this is one that we've come up with, the Potion of Vertigo. So we'll go ahead and write Vertigo on our name tag. Okay, so we have our name tag with the potion name on it. We've picked up some of these eye pins from our, our local hobby store and they actually sewed a nice little length of fake leather band. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna take our eye pin, run it through our little wooden tag, wrap it around, just enough to get it through the eye of the pin. We're gonna take our leather strip, put it through that loop, grab your needle nose pliers, give it a little twist, and kind of fold it over to hold it in place. We're not trying to be too professional, it's all fun. So at the end, you'll have a leather band with your potion name on your wooden tag. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and write the rest of our potion names on our wooden tags, uh, get everything else going, and then put them on our bottles. We'll see you back in a second. So we've taken our bottles out of the freezer and we already put our tags on some of them. And you can put your tags on however you want. We've let some dangle, we've put some all the way up and wrapped them around the bottle. Then you can put them on however you want in the back. So now that we've got our labels in place, let's actually take a closer look at the potions that we've made today. So for the lemon, we have Potion of Mega Hangover. For the orange, we have Potion of Vertigo. For the grape, we have Potion of Intelligence Down. For the strawberry, we have Potion of Liquid Courage. For the lime, we have Low Potion. So for your potions, you can drink them as is. I would suggest that you sip them because they are pretty strong. It's pure vodka. But I'm going to make a mixed drink with mine. So for my mixed drink, I have a skeleton ice cube tray. So I have little skeleton parts. You probably can't see it on camera, but that's a skull. My ice cubes. Oh, it's a rib cage. Yeah. There's hands and feet and legs and arms. The hip bones connected to the leg bones. <laughs> my favorite combination of Skittles is the strawberry and grape, so I'm going to mix a little of both in my drink. And I think because we are using Sprite, I think I'm going to try a lemon and lime mixture for mine. However strong you like your drinks, go ahead and make them to your taste. Don't freak out if your potions turn out a little thick. Ours actually ended up a little thicker than pure liquid, uh, more towards the syrupy side. But I think that's okay. I think we're gonna use ours as a mixer. So now I'm gonna try my little concoction I came up with. I got a little taste of it. Good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Go ahead. Oh, man. I'm gonna taste yours after it tastes fine. Yum. That's really good. <laughs> Yum. Yum. It's got some weird bubbles on the top, but you know what? Smelling it already smells like Skittles, so I'm thinking it's going to be good. Not? No, that is that is totally lemon and lime Skittles. Here. That is, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is going to be better than mine. That's like overkill Sprite. It's like it just enhanced the flavor of the Sprite. That is definitely red and purple Skittles. That's my favorite Skittles combo. I can understand that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue to enjoy our drinks. So if you attempt to make these drinks, send us a comment. Let us know how it turned out for you. Uh, I think they turned out great. I mean, 
Yeah, I think they're really good. If you've tried any of the other candy flavored vodka, let us know how those turned out because I'm really curious. I saw one that they infused the vodka with lemon heads and I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean after, after tasting this and I mean, it does taste like Skittles. I don't taste vodka at all. This tastes like Skittles, especially mixed with the Sprite. Yeah, mixed with the Sprite. Uh, I don't know. I, you, you can drink them just by themselves, but really, I mean, it's pure vodka, so go easy. I think it's more safe to use them as a mixer. Don't take a whole potion, folks. <laughs> don't do it. So I think we're going to go ahead and enjoy our drinks. Yeah. That's fiddle. That's mosey. That's, That's it. it. That is good. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> I think I put the right amount of everything in that. Mine tastes like the... It totally tastes like Skittles, yes. So we've decided as we were cleaning up, uh, we had a little bit of vodka left from each color and we decided to mix them all together in one, one solid bottle. Flavor. All the flavors in one jar. Yeah, we've mixed each individual flavor back into one jar. And we're just trying to test to see if it actually tastes like a bag of Skittles. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous too. Because, I mean, it, I mean smelling it, it smells like a yeah. bag of Skittles. Yeah. But very little hint of vodka. So we're going to go ahead and test it. Let's, let's, let's see if it tastes like a bag of Skittles. All right. There's definitely some heat from the vodka, but... Yeah, you get the burn in your throat, but it's actually pretty tasty. It actually tastes like Skittles. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah. It's Here. like eating a whole handful of Skittles right out of the bag. It kind of is, but they burn on the way yeah. down. Yeah. I think you get in trouble with this. Yeah. 